Hi, and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the structure and life cycle of viruses. In the last few videos, we've been looking at the structure of eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. We've seen that prokaryotic cells, such as bacteria, are much smaller than eukaryotic cells, such as those in humans. In this video, we're looking at viruses. I'm showing you here a bacterial cell and a virus particle. And as you can see, a virus particle is much smaller than a bacterial cell. Different types of viruses can have different shapes, but many viruses are broadly spherical. The size of virus particles ranges from the smallest, with a length of around 20 nanometers, to the largest, with a length of around 300 nanometers. OK, now a key idea you need to understand is that viruses cannot reproduce independently. Viruses can only reproduce inside a host cell. First, a virus particle attaches to the surface of a host cell. Next, the virus enters the host cell. Now, the virus uses the host cell's enzymes to produce copies of itself. And finally, these virus particles now leave the host cell and can go on to infect new host cells and continue reproducing. OK, so let's take a look at the structure of a typical virus. I'm showing you the structure of a virus particle here. Now I should point out that there are millions of different types of viruses, but they all have certain structures in common. Firstly, all viruses contain genetic material, and this can be either DNA or RNA. The genetic material is contained inside a protein structure called a capsid. And on the surface of the virus, we find attachment proteins. These attachment proteins allow the virus particle to attach to and enter the host cell. Now, in the case of some viruses, the capsid is surrounded by a lipid envelope. And this lipid envelope is formed from the host cell membrane. Now, there are a couple of key ideas about viruses that you need to understand. Firstly, viruses are not cells. Scientists say that viruses are acellular, which means not based on cells. Secondly, as we've already seen, viruses cannot reproduce independently. In order to reproduce, a virus must invade a host cell and use the host cell's enzymes to make copies of itself. So because viruses cannot reproduce on their own, scientists do not count viruses as living organisms. OK, so hopefully now you can describe the structure of viruses. 